G'day guys, we've got an applications of differentiation question here today. Um, the question says, how do you find a point on the graph y equals x squared where the tangent line is parallel to the line x plus 2y equals 4? Okay, so when we do um, parallel, one of the characteristic of parallel lines is that their gradients are the same. So m1 has to equal m2. So what we're going to do is we're going to figure out what the gradient of this line here is, i.e. this line on our plot here, and then we're going to work out at what point on the x squared line does the gradient equal the gradient that we found. Now there are multiple ways we can do the gradient to find the gradient of this line here. The way that I like to do it is I like to rearrange this um, relationship in the form y equals mx plus c and whatever my coefficient of my x is is what the gradient is of this function. So let's try and do that. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the x over the other side so I'm going to have negative x plus 4 and then I'm going to divide both sides by 2 so I'm going to have negative 1 over 2 x plus 2. So here is my linear equation in the form y equals mx plus c and we can see for, for this function that m is equal to negative 1 over 2. So now what we've got to do is we've got to figure out on what part of the quadratic function does the gradient equal negative 1 over 2. So the only way we can do that is by taking the derivative of this quadratic. So what we're going to do is we're going to go, well, dy over dx is equal to 2x. I'm assuming that you guys know how to take a derivative. And this is the gradient function. So this tells us what the gradient is on the domain that the parabola exists upon. So this is our gradient function. We know that the gradient function has to equal negative 1 over 2. And then we solve for x. So pretty easy to see that x is going to be equal to negative 1 divided by 4. So then what we do is we have to find, because it says how do you find the point? So when it says point, the question is asking for the coordinate point. So we need an x and a y value. So what we have to do is we have to evaluate what our parabola is when x equals negative a quarter. So we're going to go y is equal to negative 1 over 4 squared, which is equal to 1 over 16. So our point, let's call it p, is equal to negative 1 on 4 comma 1 over 16. Cool. So not a very complicated question. What we have to do first is we have to um, figure out what the gradient is of our linear function. And we're lucky with linear functions that the gradient is always the same, hence linear. Then what we have to do is once we've found the gradient of our linear function, we have to figure out what point on our quadratic equals will have a gradient of negative a half. The way we do that is we differentiate our quadratic equation and we solve for x when the derivative is equal to negative a half. We found that that was equal to a quarter. Then to find the point on the graph, we then substitute a quarter back into the original quadratic to figure out what its y value is when x is equal to negative one quarter. So negative a quarter 
is probably here somewhere. So that's going to be your point about there, which makes quite a bit of sense. So I hope this video helped and I'll uh, subscribe to my channel, give the video a like if it did, and um, I'll see you again next time.